Hello everybody and I hope you had a great summer. Mine was pretty cool. And I have also really great stuff for you. Great news in through new feature release in August 2021. You will be able to create automatic SEO outline. Also through scraping the comment section of every blog post, extracting all questions from the users. And there is as well a new tab listing all the questions available on the pages on the SERP. Let's have a look together. So the first new feature is SEO content online. Now Sri is able to create that automatically for you and suggest outline idea for your article. How does it work? Let's say I would like to write an article about inbound marketing. I start with my main keyword, inbound marketing. I recommend that you search at least for 20 results. You will understand soon why and click scrape the SERP. So now to have a look at the outline automatically generated, it's quite simple. Jump to the tab outline and H2. Here what you can see, first here you have the list of all the H2 group by uh, position on the page. So here you have the first H2 of the page number one, the first H2 of the page number three, the first H2 of the page number four, etc. The second section will display the second H2 of the page number one, three, five, etc. You get it. And now what is new is that through is generating an outline idea. So it's taking the most frequent H2 used and with the correct position to display uh, outline idea. So here you can see you could maybe start with what is inbound marketing, what is the flywheel, the top inbound marketing strategies, inbound marketing tools, etc. So it's a good way to structure article and just start with something. You can as well switch and display more pages. So here we'll have more uh, 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 idea in the outline and as well you will see more H2 here in the group. So as you can see, it's quite cool. Automatically you get already your headlines structure for your article. Of course, uh, don't just take it as it is, add your own stuff. Try to be a bit different from the, the other article on the SERP if you want to rank at the first positions. You know that questions are quite important uh, for Google. I mean, when people go on Google, they type question most of the time. So when you create content, you often have to uh, start your article or start your pro thinking process by understanding what kind of question users are asking. So there is a new feature in through. Let's have a look. So in this example, I'm searching for the term backlinks and I did a search with 100 results. So let's have a look at the updated questions tab. So the first thing you can see is uh, people also ask, so this has on SERP information display on Google search generated by Google. So here you have the people also ask, so the most common questions. You can copy that to your clipboard uh, and uh, put that in your content brief. Plus it's really cool is, uh, this is new, so the most common question from headlines. So here you can see the most common question from the H1 So all the articles scrape uh, through is analyzing what are the most common questions in H1. As well, it can give you good indication what to put in your article as well, or it can give you idea for your next content. Similar to H2. So what are the most common questions found in H2? So you can see here for, if I want to write an article about backlink, I should maybe ask or answer the question, what is a backlink, how to build the links, why do backlink matters, etc. You can see here the number of time uh, they appears. So in the or in the 100 results, so 30 times what is backlink was mentioned in H2. So you can see by looking at all the questions, the most frequent question from the H1s and the H2, it can give you also ID for your content outline, but as well it give uh, information to your writers what kind of answers they should give in their copy. So really leverage that because it's really important information. So now let's have a look at another feature. It's uh, the, a new one, really cool, scraping all the comment sections. So when people leave a comment on the blog, now through is able to scrape that and through is extracting basically the questions from the users. So we run another search, how to start a website. And if I go to the 
section question from the comment section. So this is quite cool. So here you can see for the page num ranking number 20 from wpbeginner.com, how to make a web WordPress website. So here you can see all the questions that has been asked by the user. Is there a way to choose a new theme? Are there any useful tips, etc.? So you can see all the questions asked. So a few things about this feature. I think this is really cool because when somebody leaves a comment, what does it mean? It means that he didn't find the information in the blog, in the blog post. So basically, the questions left in comments can indicate you about content gap. So a quick tip will be to scrape uh, a lot of uh, websites, search all the questions in the comments, and then write an article, a kind of FAQ article that will answer all the unanswered questions. Finally, on the same tab, on the question tab, as well, all the FAQ schema. So all the FAQ schema that are on page, not the one displayed on the SERP, because you know that sometimes Google display below the result, uh, this FAQ snippet. They are coming from on-page information. So here you can see all the FAQ schema that the website owner put on the pages. So again, a good way to find out what are interesting questions. And here as well, you have the answer. And finally, another new features. Let's have a look. Uh, it's true now is indicating you all the resources and links used by the pages. So in this example, I'm searching for link building tactics with 100 results. Let's visit the new tab called sources and links. So here you can find out which pages and website are the most uh, referenced by the other pages on the SERP. So for instance, here Google is a domain that got the most outbound links. And if you click on it, you can see all the different links. On the right hand side as well, you can see uh, what are the sources most used by the pages on the SERP. You can as well filter by domain that are only in the SERP. What does it mean? So for instance, here you can see that searchenginejournal.com is mentioned 16 times. And this uh, domain is as well ranking in the same SERP at the position number five. So if you click here now, you scroll a bit more, you can see what I call the SERP backlinks. So basically, there are pages on the SERP that are linking to Search Engine Journal. And you can, you can find out which website is linked into Search Engine Journal. So for instance, Neil Patel, ranking number one, is mentioning one time Search Engine Journal. Below, it could happen that there is exact backlinks. So it means that, for instance, the website agencyjet.com is mentioning one time the exact page that is ranking on the SERP. This feature can be quite useful as well when you start your uh, uh, copywriting process. I guess I can imagine that you need to find out information. You need to understand uh, related information to a topic. So this is perfect for you by understanding the most common uh, outbound links used and as well the website that are uh, referenced, uh, you will be able to uh, dig a bit more into your copy and create something really meaningful for your user. And there is as well more stuff releasing through, few improvements, page performances has been improved. Um, as well, in the Excel report now, the list of topics are available. Uh, go and have a look. And also in the bulk, uh, uh, bulk scrape report as well, there is a new uh, Excel uh, overview that uh, display all the SERPs in one single view. I hope you will like these new features in through. Now I let you check by yourself. You can find a link to through in the comment section if you don't know yet through. Otherwise, stay tuned, subscribe to the channel and see you soon.